Hello and welcome to NR6 tutorial. This is a quick setup guide to show you guys how to make the scenario quick and easy. The other one was, uh, I think, over 30 minutes. I'm going to make this one briefer. I'm just going to show you how, what more tools you need to get the essentials running, to get NR6 running. So what you want to do, go to F5, go to HAL Core and spawn the core module. This is the first thing you want to do and quite often if your scenario doesn't work it's because you forgot to put this one on. So then you really don't need the general settings uh, and I want to say to you that please spawn all the modules, look at the options. It's quite easy to understand what the options mean and how they suit your scenario. So please do open the, open the uh, modules if you spawn general settings you don't need to sync to any anything so uh go to commanders spawn a commander so i have these two sectors i want the east sector to fight against the west sector and vice versa so spawn the commander it's leader a blue four you have uh this many leaders eight leaders and you can spawn to the leader side there so you have the commander module then what you need at least is the settings module so go to control or side groups so basically enable that one and i'm going to use the debug mode as well which is really handy when you're seeing whether your scenario works or not but control all side groups uh basically any group or unit that's blue for as per the commander will be under the command of this commander so we have two commanders uh basically that's all we need so this one would work like this. You don't need to sync it to anything else. Uh, except for the objectives that the commander is going to need. But you can also add some of these settings module. And all of these needs to be synced to the commander. So I have a few, just a few things and tips I want to show you to get it running better. So I'm not going to use the recon orders. I rarely use those, uh, but you can. So basically they recon the place before capturing it. Um, it, it can be quite fun. Uh, then you have objectives as once. So this is basically how many objectives they are going to attack, engage at once. Uh, one objective can have three groups attacking it at once. It's hard coded, I think. So if you put it at three, they're going to proceed three objects at a time and use three squads to attack each objective so nine maximum uh you might want to carry like that but it's basically just trial and error like all of these modules are uh behavior settings i'm going to use that one as well remember to sync it to the commander uh because it has morale coefficient and withdrawal coefficient these are basically just the just a uh how to put it so they don't run away uh the system doesn't work that well in my opinion and morale if they run out of morale uh they stop fighting altogether i don't want that i want the battle to continue basically forever or until they run out of troops so i'm gonna put those to zero and uh, personality settings is quite important as well so i put it to ideal so now you have the blue four commander so i'm going to just copy paste the commander here and just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to delete these modules to show you that this commander works as well so now we need to change the commander the other commander because we can't have two leader a's so that's going to be leader b and that's going to be up for so that that should be good to go now you have objectives so take the simple mode always use simple mode legacy is an old version of hetman that nr6 is basically an advanced version of so we are going to spawn objectives for leader a so i'm going to going to place them at the city centers so leader a was this leader here then i'm going to spawn a objective 
mm, here in the middle ground. That's going to be a set taken by Commander Nun. And then Leader B's objectives. Like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the left hand menu, systems. Uh, click on that, shift, click on the last one to paint all of those. Right click, sync to, and you need to sync them to the commander. So the commander is aware of these objectives, but for this commander, I want him to be aware only about his own objectives. Well, actually, when I do this, I render thinking these objectives useless, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe, I, I, well, I'm going to make him aware of these two just for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, so now we have it set up. Now we just need to spawn the units. So this one's blue for, I'm going to spawn some NATO units here. Rifle squad, few of those. Yay, good to go. Uh, the other side, rifle squad. Yay, that's good to go. And lastly, I'm going to use the cacking system, which basically saves a lot of frames. It puts any unit that's beyond this range. 105,000, no, 1,500, sorry. <laughs> uh, so any unit that's beyond 1,500 goes to a sort of a virtual mode. So only the squad lead is uh, actually visible in the game system. But if they engage in a battle, the uh, rest of the crew appear. So it's a really good way to save frames, but still keep the realism compared to Alive, for example, which has its own virtual system where the battles go on and stuff. So basically, that's it. We don't have any reinforcement system yet, so we can do that because we really need reinforcements. So just sync the reinforcement module to the commander side. Remember to set, set that one up. Faction, I always type custom. Oh, you, you have all of these. You know how it works. Uh... Just two of the uh, most important ones. Threshold decay is basically how much the uh, threshold gets smaller. Or, yeah, it, it lowers it automatically if you have this one set up. I'm going to put it to zero. So threshold, let's put it to 0 0.99, 95. Uh, every time your total amount of troops drops below 95% it's going to activate a reinforcement module and it's going to spawn one squad or now it would spawn two squads uh, it's quite self-explanatory so what you need as well to pair that up with is asset compiler uh, sync asset compiler to reinforcements and now you can create a pool of tr troops to be spawned to sync groups by the squad lead to the asset compiler and if I would have three of the same like this and then one random fire team I create a pool of troops uh, which has 75% chance of these spawning and 25% chance of this spawning okay so let's see how it runs Okay, so as you can see, uh, left hand side, the blue 4 and up 4 commander debug modes are working. They are issuing orders to everybody on the field. Uh, on the right hand side, top corner, you can see leader A, morale and losses, and leader B, morale and losses. Uh, so we've set the threshold to Oh, we've set the threshold to 0.95, which means 95%. So if the losses go uh, above 5, they will reset as uh, a new squad will spawn in. So as you can see, everything's working perfectly. Uh, this commander is giving some defense orders. And this commander is... 
giving attack orders. So you can see recon orders here. They are from this commander as I didn't use any behavior or objective settings modules, but it's working as you can see. So if you go to spectator mode, you can see squats going towards their objectives here and you can only see the squat leads because of the gacking module but if it would go closer they would reappear so that's it for the tutorial it's basically a lot of trial and error but please remember to uh, check the settings of each module and adjust them to your liking there's no one correct way to do everything every scenario requires its own settings and stuff uh please if you have any questions do ask and uh what's my basic tutorial if you have any inquiries most likely that tutorial will answer those so thank you